Hello and welcome to the Global Fashion Workshop channel. I remind you that we release a new video three times a week. Today I want to show you this beautiful coat. The process of coat making might not seem too difficult, and you might be able to just make a coat, or you might get some advanced skills in coat making. Today I'll share with you some tailoring secrets. I came to work today and saw this coat, and I decided to show it to you. Why? Because we can learn something new just by reviewing it. What do we need to make such a coat? First of all, you need to know how to make a loose raglan sleeve. A loose raglan sleeve like this from our 10 measurements cutting system. Not just any raglan sleeve. When we construct the raglan from our basic pattern, it fits perfectly because the correct depth of the dart was used. If we partially transfer a dart here, it creates a wearing ease in this area, and the lower part of the armhole looks and feels good. We've got several videos on our channel about raglan sleeves. I encourage you to re-watch them and try to draft it. Take a look here, please. This part fits absolutely perfect. Do you agree with me? If you make a loose-fit coat, it doesn't mean it should look like an unshaped bag. No, no. To have such an elegant garment, we should strategically add an ease. It's the main secret of this coat. Take a look here. It fits so beautifully over here. It's not made for this mannequin, but it doesn't matter. The main thing is to draw this beautiful raglan line. This line is perfect. Do you agree with me? Here's another line. We don't use a ruler to draw the raglan line. I know some people like doing that. I'm a big believer in drawing it by hand. I absolutely forbid using a ruler in this case. Look, it goes slightly this way. It's beautiful, isn't it? The top stitch goes along the line of the raglan but not all the way down. The top stitching goes here, but there's no top stitching in the underarm section. On the back, it's done exactly the same way. Here's the end of the top stitch. I will show you everything again after I put the coat on the table. The top stitching goes all the way down on the center back. The second thing is you need to know how to draft this collar. It's comfortable. We need to know how much we remove along the shoulder seam here and where the neckline starts so the coat's not too tight around your neck. You should know all that before you start drafting the collar. This is our favorite collar. We've done it multiple times. Find and rewatch the video How to Show Sew a Chanel Style Jacket. It'll be useful. In part 11, I show you how to construct a collar like this. I'm sure you'll be able to make it. Look at this decorative strap with grommets. This is a buckle, and it fastens under the collar. When it's closed, only this part of the strap is seen. Do you see it here? When it's not fastened, it looks like that. Do you see it here? It's pretty. The fly front. Look at the stitching. It goes from the top to the bottom. We're preparing a mini course about fly, fly front closures. In the course, we'll give you step-by-step -step instructions and explain to you in the simplest terms how to make a fly front. It's not complicated. We like to finish a fly front like this and not sew it all the way down. But using that technique, you can finish it by sewing all the way down or finish it like we did here. It also looks pretty. Sleeve straps add a nice touch to cashmere wool coats. This sleeve strap has a buttonhole. I can unbutton it. Let's take another look at that fly front. The fly front starts from the second button. The first button fastens like that, so we can see the button. The other buttons are hidden. One button here, and the buttons on the sleeves. There's a top stitch along the sleeve's hemline, a cashmere coat with top stitching. Top stitching adds a modern twist to this coat. Welt pockets, it looks good. Do you like it? Looks amazing. Now I'm going to put the coat on the table, and we'll take a closer look at it. It's a 100% cashmere fabric, a deep green color. It's gorgeous. I like it so much. We'll be sending this coat to our client who lives in Khabarovsk. It's far away from Krasnodar. It's nice that we receive orders from different cities, from different areas of our country. It's a great pleasure for us. This coat was made without a single fitting. 
But I'm absolutely sure that our client will be pleased with the result because I checked it, touched it, tried it on the mannequin, checked the armhole, absolutely everything. I'm absolutely sure. A professional approach is the most important thing. Professional approach is the key to getting a great result. Especially when we make garments without fitting. Without a professional approach, it would be extremely difficult to achieve a great result. I want to say we should choose good quality fusible interfacing. This is important. The coat is so light, it's the quality that you might find in very expensive boutiques. We used very light weight interfacing that didn't add any extra weight to the coat. A perfect coat. How does it look on the inside? Here's the lining. This is the seam that holds the fly front. Here it is. Along the edge we have shirt stitches. Here they are. Those short stitches. This seam is enough to fold the fly front in place. People often ask me, can I make a fly front without outside stitching? I answer, of course you can, but the result might not be very satisfactory. Just as I said it, a customer came into our shop in a coat with a fly front without the outside stitching. She bought it somewhere else. The buttons are hidden inside and nothing is attached. All the layers are separated from each other. It looked so awful without stitching. That's why we have to follow the sewing techniques. It's the usual lining here, without underlining. A little pleat here for the wearing ease. The loop and reinforced buttons. Do you see it here? Those elements add to this coat a quality factor. The interfacing was applied at the sleeve hemline and the hemline of the garment when it was thread traced and pressed. All of those elements make this garment elegant. If you forget to take the ruler when pressing the button stand, it'll look awful. If you forget to take a ruler while making the hemline, the hemline will also look awful. There's lots of examples like this. I'm proud of this work and happy to send it to our customer. Thank you for trusting us. I love my private workshop, my tailors, and the whole team. Those days when a woman wore the same coat for many, many years are gone. I'm serious. A lot of women had one coat and wore it for many years. But times are different now. We want to have something new all the time. Maybe a 100% cashmere coat is too expensive, so you can choose another kind of fabric. You can make it yourself or have it, have a tailor make it for you. There are lots of videos available on our channel about outerwear clothing. You can just re-watch our videos and make a lot of outerwear clothes. We have videos on how to add an underlining, how to make hoods, stand collars, and etc. Stay with us and learn with us. Leave us your comments, share your opinion with us. Click the like button, share our videos on social media, subscribe to our channel and write comments. Thank you for watching. All the best from Marina Paukste and the rest of our team.